Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? And what are their intentions towards you? As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries. Uh, and also, not every Aries reading will resonate, so take what resonates for you. What applies to your situation and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Aries. What guidance messages do you have for Aries regarding the person they are thinking about connecting with at this time, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Aries? What do we need to know for Aries? What do we need to know for Aries? Thoughts, feelings, energies towards Aries at this time. Four of Cups, Reverse. The Chariot, Cancer Energy. Knight of Wands, Reverse. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Reverse. So this could be that just things have not been able to work out yet. I think your person is open to a new opportunity or a new idea when it comes to your connection. Something that they probably weren't thinking about before. Um, maybe they were close to an idea or some sort of thought when it came to you or this connection, but they're opening up to that idea now with the Four of Cups reverse. There's renewed interest. Um, and the Chariot tells me this person wants to move forward. Um, maybe they want to make some sort of move that moves this connection along. Maybe they want to come visit you. We'll clarify and see. But the Knight of Wands reverse tells me it's like, you know, this chariot, it's, it doesn't really leave the garage. It's like they start the car, but they are not able to pull out of the garage. And it, it's almost like a the brakes here with the Knight of Wands reverse. It's like, wow, I'm so interested in something now. Let me go towards it, and I can't. That's kind of what I'm picking up so far. Let's get some more energies here. And it could be that it's not the right time with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. It could be that things just aren't, you know, in your person's favor right now. So let's get some insight. Can we get some insight, please, on this person's energies, thoughts, feelings towards Aries? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Aries spirit? What do we need to know? need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Aries. We have curious, interested, and inquisitive. Youthful, lighthearted, and playful. Taking action. That's the chariot right there. Can we get one more? And romantic, charming, and passionate. So I'm getting a lot of Stellar Rainbows um, oracles, which they're kind of like um, my oracle deck for like traits, um, describes people's, um, I guess their their intentions. Um, Bountiful Harvest. So what, when I see all of these together, I get someone that's very motivated by how they feel. They're also very curious, they're interested, and then there's a the true love energy at the bottom of the deck. So again, I feel like there's someone here that's really it's like something has happened to inspire them again or motivate them again to have something with you or to take actions towards you. Um, they feel lighthearted and playful, so in romantic. So I'm getting almost like they're giddy, they're excited, and they see potential here with Bountiful Harvest. They see something that could grow, that could manifest. <clears throat> So why the Knight of Wands reverse, right? That's really the, the issue that I see here. Let me get some more insight, please, for Aries. Clarity insight, please, for Aries regarding these animals. So let's break this down. Tell me about the Four of Cups reverse. Why is the Four of Cups reverse here for Aries? Justice, Libra energy, 
and the Ace of Cups. Oh yeah, someone's definitely open to the idea of fixing something to do with love, making this right, um, restabilizing, rebalancing a situation, and they're thinking about it in a very logical way or very decisive way. I feel like someone wants to fix things the right way. It's like, it's not enough that they want to rebalance the situation, but it needs to be done correctly. All right, tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Two of Swords. Yeah, this there's a block here with the chariot. I'm telling you, it's someone that's not able to... It's like they, they get in the car, but they can't leave the house. Maybe there's indecision tied up here. Maybe there's a block. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Oh, Two of Cups. So maybe there's insecurities about how you feel or about a connection. I really hope that they're not stuck somewhere else. King of Pentacles is here, Three of Wands. Hmm. Can I get one more for the Chariot? Why is the Chariot here? Why is the Chariot here? Ace of Wands and the World. Oh, wow. Yeah, this would be a complete new start. And there's the Eight of Swords. So again, there's that block that just keeps showing up. Your person is stuck, but I'm not sure if this is something outside of your connection. I'm not sure if this is fear, that they might just be fearful. Let's see. Tell me about this Knight of Wands reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse, Spirit? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Oh my God. The Hierophant. Taurus energy and the Emperor Aries there you are I think your person's tied up with you if it's not another commitment it's an I it's um how do I explain it they're bound by the expectations they've set on themselves so if they're not in a connection with someone else if they're not in a marriage or a long-term commitment they're bound by some sort of promise or some sort of expectation that they said they, you know, it's like, I need to take care of this by myself. You know, nobody else can do this, just me. And I think what's happening here is this person's not able to go after what they truly want to go after. So let's use the example that I said here. What if this is someone that is afraid, right? They're afraid to make a move and they're afraid because let's say they don't want to be seen as a manipulative person, right? So then they're going to be very careful how they approach you because they don't want you to dismiss them and call them a manipulative person or, or a, uh, I don't know, someone that's not ethical. This person might care a lot about how they're perceived by others. Five of Cups, yeah. What's this? And the Queen of Cups. So a lot of love feelings here. But I think this person, if they're not careful, you know, they might miss out. Um, if they are in a connection already, if they are in a commitment, then yes, they would need to make a difficult decision. And a cycle to start a new one. And, and you know, that's difficult. If they are bound by their own fears, their own expectations on themselves, they need to get over that. Otherwise, there is no action that's going to be taken. What are their intentions? What are their intentions? Next actions towards Aries. What is this person's intentions? Next actions when it comes to Aries or this connection. Knight of Swords, Reverse, Ace of Wands, okay, King of Swords, hmm, maybe they need to be honest with themselves or open up communication here, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, 
King of Swords, they're not afraid of anything though. Like the King of Swords will tell you straight up the truth, whether you like it or not, not his problem. The Knight of Swords Reverse tells me that there might be delays here in getting this message out to you. Or this person is probably needing to unblock themselves from sending this message because they might be keeping themselves from sending this message along to you. What's this Knight of Swords Reverse about? What's this Knight of Swords Reverse about? Three of Pentacles. So if they are in a, in a third party situation, um, there's a Six of uh, Swords at the bottom of the deck and they might have to leave that situation. Um, if they are wanting to work things out with you, they need to make some sort of move here. The message needs to be delivered. Yeah, the Magician, this is up to them. That's really the simplest way to describe this is if this person is so um, interested, passionate, motivated by this renewed interest that they have in you or in this connection, then it's going to take action on their part. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yeah, Four of Wands. This could be very uh, stable. This could be a beautiful, harm harmonious connection, a happy home. Tell me about the King of Swords. What's this King of Swords doing here? What's this King of Swords doing here? Eight of Cups, another card about a departure. And then the Hermit, uh, Virgo Energy, someone that has really been thinking about their next steps. This person needs to communicate what they want to do. There's the Chariot. Sorry about that. I was kind of cut off by someone calling my phone multiple times. So we have the Chariot here, another card about movement. There's the Chariot taking action. I mean, this, is, this message is just repeating. However, it's with the King of Swords, which tells me there's communication tied to this or some sort of truth tied to this. Maybe they need to communicate what action they're planning to take or they need to tell you what they're planning, period. Can I get some insight clarity, please? Can I get some insight clarity, please, for Aries? What do we need to know for Aries? What do we need to know for Aries? I still check up on you. Hmm. Maybe they uh, were checking up on you and they saw something that they liked or they saw something that gave them a, I don't know, renewed interest. I regret what happened, okay? And you matter to me at the bottom of the deck. So I get the sense that this person, um, yeah, this there are regrets tied to this. I think that something must have happened in the past between you and this person. The five, five of Cups is here with the Queen of Cups. So I think they still care about you despite what's happened. And I mean, they obviously care about you enough to want a new beginning here, to want to begin something, to start something. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this short bonus love reading. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.